Dear Louis, hello, I am a Zapper Man, and this is not going to be a review, but this is going to be my list, my 13 movies I would pick that you should watch for the Irish American Heritage Month. Now, I just have to let you know that these are my picks. These are my movies that I choose that I believe everyone should at least watch, even if it's once. And why 13? Because it's my favorite number, that's why. Yes, 13 is my favorite number. So instead of doing the traditional countdown for 10 or the top 5, this is my 13. Now these movies are not in any particular order and they are not as a per se these are the top 3. Although I could, I might say that these 3 last movies I picked possibly reach the top of the list. However, none of these movies are in any particular order. They're just movies I very much enjoy and I fancy, so hopefully you will get a chance to watch these. On to the list. For number 13, I picked Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Now I know this may be the time when people shut their video off, but just let me explain myself. This was probably the first really earliest memory of a movie I've watched besides the Muppets and Star Wars and so on. I really enjoy this movie because it brings back a childhood memory of mine when I watch it with my father and I watch it with my brother Daniel and a couple of others and actually it was just my brother Daniel and I and at that time and I remember when we watched it I'll be jumping on my dad and we'll be dancing and I really swear to heaven I thought those were real people I mean they're real but I really thought they were that wee little I really thought they were that short and I always asked my father it's like how did it cut the little people and my father would look at me he's like because it's magic they're out there and there were leprechauns out there now I actually believed this until I was probably like 10 years old that's how much they got me I really believe people were actually that little and I always try to find them although you know you can call them dwarfs or whatever but they're not that tiny so the the magic of behind it was the camera and using that type of lens which was very impressive it impressed me and still impresses me to this day now if you want to know what the story is it's it's stereotypical leprechaun magic and everything else in fact you could say a lot of tribute towards Irish films and a lot of Irish mythology was really explored due to Walt Disney in 1952 starring a very early Sean Connery doing his best Irish accent and he's even singing which you may never want to hear him sing again but it's not as terrible as people have said it is it's fun it's enjoyable something to laugh at and it's great crack so yeah give this film a try if you haven't Waking Ned Devine now when a small town village of Tullymore Someone wins a lottery ticket and they win big, but no one has seemed to claim it. So best friends Michael and Jamie go searching and they create these parties and all kinds of small group gatherings to find out who wins and they can't find it. Well, they find out one of the persons is not showing around and they go to their house of Ned Devine. They find out he's dead with the ticket in his hand. He won the lotto but died from a heart attack from winning. So... They create this elaborate plans and schemes to convince the person to come to find Ned Devine, the winner of the lawful ticket, to become Ned Devine. This movie is very hilarious. It's funny. And I remember at the time when this movie came out, it was not well known in the theaters, I guess. But on VHS, rental copies were exploding. And my family rented it. They wouldn't let me watch it for some odd reason. Even though it's rated PG. There is nudity of a man's back and everything else, but it's non-sexual. It's done very much for humor. So I guess that would be a bear beware for people who are extremely sensitive. But most of these jokes are very dry. They're very Irish, and it's a lot of fun. Another movie that's a lot of crack. So you should really enjoy this movie. If you want to see what Ireland is really like with small villages, this is probably the best movie to open up your mind and 
getting a bit of a concept of what Ireland is on these wee little villages. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend this movie. Number 11 will be The Secret of Roan Inish. Now Fiona is a small little girl and she's living with her grandparents off the west coast of Ireland. And she's not with her parents because of a bit of a disaster thing that happened. Her little brother was lost at sea. And there is mixed stories of what actually happened to him. Between stories of fantasy, fable, and maybe a real story account that he floats off in the cradle. It's very unsure, but she starts discovering the truth behind of her little brother which has disappeared. And whether he's alive or not, you actually take this journey with her. It is a great story of folklore, fantasy, and Irish mythology. Story of Selkies and magic. Something that you would actually sit down and listen to your grandparents, parents, or any type of relative tell you stories about what may have happened in the past and just their magical way. This is a great fantasy film. It is not too childish, but it's also not too, too much horror. It is something that I believe everybody should enjoy at least once. It's a great movie. For number 10, I am picking Odd Men Out. Now, I have to say, this is a really good movie. In fact, I even did a review on this one, but I can't help but just talk about this movie again. When a bank robbery goes wrong in Belfast, Johnny McQueen falls out of the getaway car from the bank, and he has these dizzy spells, and he, got, he gets to see what the true side of Ireland is, what they think about him as the leader of this organization. Now, it doesn't really say what the organization is, but we know, as far as not saying at the time, it is the IRA. And he gets to see, as the night grows stronger, he sees more people come out. And as these more people come out, they come out with more of their emotions and their thoughts of what they think of the organization and what they think of what's happening in their country of Ireland, at least in Northern Ireland. And it's a really good movie. It's really great, phenomenal acting, and the music score is absolutely amazing. It's, most, it's a movie you must watch. I, there's any movie I put on this list. This is one of those you have to see this movie. If you don't get to see any other movie, it's really that good. For number nine, I pick In America. Now, In America is a very personal story by filmmaker Jim Sheridan, and he has made this movie with elements that are based on his real life. A lot of the things has ha actually happened to him, and some of the characters' name has changed, but it does this movie very well. This poor Irish family moves from Ireland to the Hell's Kitchen of New York as they try to find redemption and hope and love and forgiveness through the loss of a loved one. They experience this through as a family growing in this area. There's a lot of things that are in this movie that are just ex very touching and very moving. I didn't say I, I would cry, but it is very painful to watch certain scenes because you get to understand on these people's certain level of understanding of what they're going through. Never has a circus game felt more nerve-wracking in a film. And at the same time, never has a love scene felt more awkward. I would leave it at that, but this movie is very well done. I just wish it was much more appreciated then as it is now. If you get a chance, try to watch this movie because it is absolutely great. For number eight, I pick Sing Street. Now this, this is what movies are about. This is a wonderful movie. I absolutely loved this movie. This movie got me excited watching throughout because it was so wonderful. The music, the way it was shot, the story script, everything, the acting, the chemistry was so amazing amongst everyone. This is a really great time capsule type of film. This film is based in 1985 in Dublin on a Catholic school as this boy he is trying, the boy's name is Connor, and he's trying to gain the love and affection of a girl and her name is Rafina and he thinks that the first thing he could do is start a band. Now he doesn't have a band and he doesn't know really much about music other than what his older brother tells him 
and his older brother is just like his guide, his counsel, and he talks about these movies, and, I mean the music, talks about the music, and it's absolutely amazing, it's wonderful, everything about this movie is great, so if you love great music, and if you love a good drama, and if you love to see parts of Ireland and what it really is growing up and school, I never went to a school, I was homeschooled, so I couldn't tell you, but I can tell you this movie felt very real and it was great to watch. I absolutely loved it. the music, everything. So this is probably a high up on the list that you have to see. Of course, this is my list, so I don't really have a top three or five, like I said, but definitely get a chance to watch this. It's absolutely fantastic. Fire number seven, Barry Lyndon. Now, people may ask, how is this very Irish? Because it's not really filmed in Ireland. It's not... There's not people who speak in Irish, but there's Irish actors in this movie. In fact, this movie was originally intended to be filmed in Ireland. However, Stanley Kubrick got death threats from the IRA when he found out that they was going to make filming British soldiers inside. That it made Stanley Kubrick back out and it's like, okay, we're not going to film in Ireland. We're just going to film here in England. So that's a little fun fact for you. This movie is fantastic. It is possibly my favorite. I think it is. It is my favorite Stanley Kubrick film. Every shot, every piece of costume, everything that's done in this movie is done with excellence. It is like watching his history through an 18th century come to life. It is absolutely amazing and I cannot believe how much was put into this film. I don't think they can actually pull this film off today. I don't think they've been able to pull off this type of film for the past 10 years. There isn't, just to see this film is incredible. The colors, the candlelight filming inside, everything about this movie is absolutely amazing. Right down to every piece of costume, it has done with such care and such skill. And it had to be a painful movie to make because given Stanley Kubrick, he likes to do loads of retakes on the film. It's absolutely amazing. Three hours long, worth it. Absolutely worth it. See it. If you love artwork and if you love scenery, this is that type of movie. Number six, Road to Perdition. This is a film that's directed by Sam Mendes. It stars Tom Hanks, Jude Law, Daniel Craig, and Paul Newman's last final role in the film. It is based on the impressive graphic novel by Max Allen Collins and is set about the Irish Mafia in 1920s Illinois. This is a movie about a father and son bonding and never have anyone could ever perceive Tom Hanks as a villain but he does so in this movie. This movie is brilliantly well shot and it has great editing and a fantastic score by Thomas Newman. This movie had my eyes glued to the screen right down to its final conclusion if you want to see one of the best graphic novels ever come to film, this is that movie. Number five, The Secret of the Kales. Young Brendan is raised amongst Catholic monks and in this story of Celtic mythology, magic, mystery, and a wee bit of fantasy. This movie has crisp, clean animation. It has lovely, vivid, brilliant colors. And this is just eye candy for anyone who loves animation. This movie is done so well. And it has such a great story. I think it would do me a disservice if I tried to even explain the story to you. I'll just say never has animation just look this impressive. Okay, there may be another film I'm going to have in this list. That I'm about to tell you right now. But this animation just is fantastic and it has great mythology behind it so it's really enjoyable this may not be the film that kids will like but this next movie I would say is definitely a movie kids will love if you love animation you will love this movie number four the song of the sea have you ever watched an animated film that stuck with you long after watching it like you could watch a movie and then months or maybe a year later after not seeing it those images and everything about the film just still comes in your memory this is that movie 
this movie has great animation, great style, and everything about what's made The Secret of Kales made this movie, I think, even better. The same team of The Secret of the Kales made this movie. And it's impressive with his voice acting, with the chemistry that it has with the brother and sister. It's impressive. It's a story of Irish mythology, Selkies, magic, mystery, everything that they did for the, for the Secret of Kales, they did with this movie. And I think they really upped the par. It is very impressive. I loved everything about this movie. The music will stick with you. The animation is so amazing and brilliant and I absolutely love this movie. Now this is a movie I would recommend for the entire family and I believe the whole family will really enjoy this because it just has everything what the older Walt Disney once was. This movie does. Absolutely lovely, amazing, brilliant and have to see it. For number three I pick Brooklyn. Brooklyn is possibly one of the best romantic dramatic films I have ever seen. It is absolutely stunning. The colors and the way it's shot and the story and the acting. It's just so real and so wonderful. I cannot help but every time I watch this film I fall in love over and over and over again. This movie is about a young Irish immigrant, Eilish Lacey, as she goes into Brooklyn in the 1950s in search of a new life, a fresh start, and just beginning life as she wants to. She falls in love with an Italian immigrant and she gets news not too long after about a tragic event that's happening in a family back in her home in Ireland. She is torn between the love of her life and the love of her home country and she's trying to decide and choose what she must have. If you want to know what it is, you have to watch this movie because it, the, it would do the service if I talk too much about the story of this film. But it is very simple and it is very grand. This is a brilliant, well-made film. This is what romantic films are about. If there is a man that you wish to watch a movie with, or a woman, whoever, and you want to watch a romantic film, this is possibly one of the best romantic I've ever seen ever I would never turn this movie down if someone ever wanted to watch this movie with me absolutely amazing great crack for number two I am picking the quiet man in this John Ford classic timeless capsule of Ireland I don't know what to say negative about it for those who said something negative about it then I'm sorry you're wrong this movie is absolutely wonderful and yes, it plays a little bit on stereotype, and yes, it plays on a little bit on overacting on certain scenes, and some of the things are just like, you just learn to shrug it off. It's so much fun to watch this movie. The fact that this movie was filmed in Technicolor, which is my favorite form of color ever to be put on film, the colors, everything, just pops out so vividly so lovely and so grand it's an absolutely wonderful film to watch it's possibly I think my favorite John Wayne film and seeing the lovely Maureen O'Hara oh my lord it is wonderful of a film and for a film to be made, made of its time I think it still holds up and it's everything that everyone would want of Ireland the sea the beautiful colors the sea of the fist fights that will happen amongst family and friends is just delightful. Everything about this movie I love. It's wonderful and it's a timeless capsule. If you have not seen this movie, after this review, watch the movie. You must watch this movie. Everything that you wish will be part of Ireland other than some of the accents that are not there but it's still fun to watch. It's wonderful. That's all I can say about the movie. It's absolutely wonderful. Do yourself a bit of a service and watch this movie. For one, My Left Foot. Now I know I said in the beginning of this film and a bit throughout this video that this list is not in chronological order and I do not have one favorite over the other 
But if I had to pick a number one Irish film, it would be this one. Maybe that's why I put this as number one. I don't know. I just put it there. And this movie is very impressive. This movie is, once again, directed by Jimmy Sheridan. And it is in 1989, which Daniel Day-Lewis won for Best Actor. What an impressive movie. Oh my lord, this movie is brilliant in every shape of the way. Every shot of this movie is not wasted. Everything about this movie is amazing. It is the story of Christy Brown and he suffers since his birth from cerebral palsy and he's not able to control any part of his body except for one limb and that's his left foot and he's able to write in the very first scene mother and writing mother people realize that they're okay this person can actually do something so he struggles throughout his life trying to communicate with his family and friends and anybody else around the strong support he gets is from his mother and his love and passion for art for poetry and it's just impressive to see Daniel Day Lewis do this role you cannot help but really think he really does have cerebral palsy it is absolutely amazing wonderful piece of work if there was a film I would say you must add in your film collection it would be this one if there's a film that you must see it has to be this one this is absolutely dynamite besides watching Brooklyn and the um, Secret of Kells, Song of the Sea and every other film I have done this movie My Left Foot is the number one movie you have to see on this list if you don't see any others which I wish you will you have to see this movie stunning acting stunning story absolutely brilliant right down to its core it may actually even may shed you a tear or two it's just impressive story making throughout the entire film and an impressive score by Elmer Bernstein you've got to see it and if you're not then what you're celebrating Irish American Heritage Month for so those are my 13 picks of Irish films that I believe everyone should watch I know there's loads of others and some of these films you may have not heard of if you haven't I hope you do get a time to watch them I hope this list actually helps you and maybe revisit some of these movies that you may have forgotten because I believe every single one of these movies are absolutely stunning absolutely amazing and you have to get a chance to watch it so until then thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and if you do get a chance and the time to like subscribe whatever it is share this video amongst others and I wish you all a lovely day and hopefully I'll see you around to the next video review whatever it is I post until then take care Slanche. cheers